Corey here from Cabin Honey. Um, so today what we're doing is we're going to be installing a uh, electric fence around our bee yard. Um, so the reason we're installing an electric fence after being here for, we've been here at this house for almost nine years now, is uh, we had a little incident with a bear. Um, it's actually going through this hive here. I was facing this way behind us and um, I was going through this uh, brood box and as I was bent over I heard uh, um, some leaves and sticks snap and when I stood up we had a black bear standing just inside the, um, the tree line right there just inside the shadow. Um, when I stood up he was uh, staring at me. Um, I yelled at him a couple times. There was a young bear. I yelled at him a couple times and he uh, took off and went up through the woods here off this way. But I figured it'd be uh, probably a good time to install an electric fence. So um, I have all the parts I need now, finally. That was on uh, July 5th. So that was last Monday, today, Sunday. Um, so I'm going to install the fence and um, I'm going to get the camera flipped around and show you everything I got for installing an electric fence and uh, we'll see how it goes. I've never installed electric fence before so kind of flying by the seat of my pants so we'll see how it goes. Um, if you haven't yet give us a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button. Alright so what I got here is our stuff for our electric fence so pretty much spent a little time looking online and doing a little research trying to find the simplest way I thought to do this so what I came up with was uh, these three things here. Um, so we got our electric fencing. This is this like a nylon rope. I believe there's stainless steel and copper wires in there. And all this here is from uh, Premier One. So I kinda, kinda thought these would work the best. These are just a step-in stake. I believe they're called uh, hot sticks or something to that effect I'll find the link and I'll put it in the uh, description below but these are just a push in uh, uh, fence stake and then of course the most important part is the energizer here solar one I believe this is the 120 solar energizer from uh, Premier One um, we'll see what all this will do I believe this is 1.4 jolts or joules so we'll see how that's supposed to do. This is supposed to run, I believe, at like 7,000 or 8,000 volts. I think it's 8,000 volts. I think this runs at, I think it max out at 10, and I think the minimum is uh, 35 uh, volts. So should be enough for bear. But um, and pretty much this is all we need in a measuring tape. And other than that, this is should be hopefully be quick. We'll see. But um, let me get the camera spun around, and we'll have to. Uh, the layer uh, rods out and then uh, once you get the rods all laid out I go through and readjust uh, all of our clips here um, I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do with three strands you can run four on here you get the uh, pigtail at the top you're supposed to run four on them but I think I'm gonna do three um, we'll see I think I'm gonna do three right now I've read a few different things and I've watched a few different videos um, Actually, I watched uh, Bob Benny's uh, video on his electric fence. He runs three strands, and he says he leaves his uh, alone enough so he can jump over it. So I think that's kind of where I'm going to go with, but we'll see. I'm going to camera around, and we have to run our stakes in, and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so we got to get our stakes in here. Thinking I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do two, two through here, I'm just going to kind of eyeball, I'm not really measuring anything, let's see, I've got 20 sticks, but I have to always going to add a few more. Not even close. Let's 
See how close we are here. Get them closer. Oh, perfect. Gotta move them in a little closer. like the wife might care what it looks like though wife's gonna want it straight that's pretty close let's go down I go down and check the back side over here I don't know if you can tell or not but these highs right here sit higher there's a little bit of a drainage ditch right there gonna give us kind of a problem I think we'll go down and look at it and see what we come up with all right, this section here is going to give us a little bit of a problem. This is my this was my first bee stand that I ever uh, had, and then I put this one in up here. wasn't ever planning on putting an electric fence in, so you can see the stakes are kind of falling on the quarter half, last quarter half of the um, stand up there. So I'm going to try to run, run the electric fence under and up and over until I get a chance to move those. Um, I might wait till it cools off later in the fall to move those. So I'm going to have three of them aren't going to be inside the electric fence, but it is what it is for now. When it gets a little cooler out later in the fall, I'll move them, but I think that should work. The bottom one should be able to go right underneath it. But i got to do to put a couple more stakes across there and then we should be able to put our electric fence in and we'll see how it goes I guess I guess I ordered way too many sticks for steaks for this. I ordered 20. Oh, you go 4, 8, 10, 12 steaks. So I think I ordered too many steaks, but I'll have enough to do another bee yard at some point. Guys can't tell the camera with the little swale there here. I'm worried there's gonna be a gap between too, too big of a gap between the bottom strand. I guess it kinda is what it is. Better than nothing. Alright, so what I did is I went through and set all my uh wire clips here. So well, the bottom one I can't go any lower than the white thing, which is eight inches. That should be fine. I read anywhere from different things. I read anywhere from it says four to six, but I think eight inches is gonna be fine. I don't think a bear is gonna go under eight inches. Then I went sixteen for the middle one, and then the top one's right tight to the top of this white uh, handle. It's at like twenty-six and a half. So I went through and set all these to that height. So these all should be set now. So we should be able to start stringing our electric fence now. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do as my uh, gate here. Oh, I almost fell over. As my gate here, as I took two stakes and run them together, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just 
start on one side and end on the other. So when I come in, I can just unplug the fence and open this up. And this corner will be my gate going in. So what I'm thinking right now. So I'm going to do is start my fence on this bottom hook and I'm going to run it down. Should be able to, the reason I went with that kind of the nylon rope with the strands inside of it, um, so you can tie it. So I should be able to tie it off onto here, start and run. Then here what I'll do is I will uh, just loop it. Go through here, loop it up, and then run it through the second one, and then loop loop back through here and keep running it around. But I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll find out here in a second. All right, let's see. Let's see here, maybe this one will tangle up. Okay. Hopefully. Just string that through there like that. Tie it off. At least that's the idea. Let's throw a couple square knots in there. And then we'll run it down. That'll make a big mess. Get this all knotted up. All right, so I did one loop all the way around. So now I'm gonna pull this tight. Come through here. Loop that through there. I think this will work as our door. So is this one continuous? Should be one continuous strand all the way through. Hopefully it'll hold it tight. I think it will. Let's go through and tighten up this fence. So I just went through and tightened up that bottom strand. So far, so far so good. Do our second row. We'll get our second row strand and we'll see. All right, so I ran, ran my last strand here. Go grab a pair of pliers. All right, so I want guys pair of pliers here. Cut this. Oh, should be off right there. Try and cut it. There we go. Take this. We're gonna tie it back. Tied back to itself. Hopefully this should work. 
find out here in a minute. All right. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna to have to go through. I don't know if you can see that post down there is lean. I'm gonna to have to go through, which I got post because I knew that's probably gonna happen. Got the green T bar posts. I'm gonna to have to drive one in on each corner and pull those posts back. I'm gonna to have to do the same thing on this one here to close it up. And then the far end one down there I'll have to close up too. Alright, we gotta hook the ground to the grounding rod. And then we gotta take our other clip here. Hook it on to the wire. Like that. And then turn it on. Looks like my battery's dying. It's blinking in green red. I'll run in the house and I got a wire tester to see what we're at. And then we'll have to fix our corners. All right, so what I got here is this uh, steel uh, post. Straighten this corner up with. Hopefully I don't wake the neighbors up. It's only like Seven o'clock in the morning. All right, so I'm going to do tie around the insulated part. You do not want to tie it to here. If you tie it to the middle part, <clears throat> put it to your post, you're going to ground your fence out. So let me just go. Go like that. That should work. Um, two more to go. I don't think I'm going to have to do the corners. Or I don't want to do the corners because I'm going to use that as my gate. But we'll do the other two. This wire uh, seems to work really good. I like the fact that I can tie it. I have to use a bunch of connectors and stuff. Um, we're gonna go down and look. I'm gonna have to figure out something in that corner. Down there where our gate is. I might end up using a, just use a push in uh, one of those step in posts to fix that one. I don't want to use one of these green posts because I won't be able to take it in and out, go in and out the gate. But we'll figure something out. All right, so you got to figure out something here this uh, corner. Stakes leaning pretty hard. So this is going to end up being our gate. One, 
thinking here. Turn this around like that. Pull it over. See, that might change. Let's we'll figure that out. All right, it should be good to go. There you go. She's running. Let's check her again. Test her. All right. Let's see. You guys can see that We're right at 8,000. I believe that's supposed to be 8,000 volts. Eight thousand. Seemed to be good to go. Came out all right. Hopefully that'll keep our uh, new neighbor out of here. All right, so there we go. We got our uh, electric fence all installed and it seems to be running. Uh, running right at 8,000 volts and um. We'll see what happens, see if it works. Hopefully the bear won't be back so we don't have to find out. But I think it took about, I just looked, about an hour and a half. So that's not too bad. Hour and a half, two hours. Get everything all set up and get the fence all the way around. Um, if you guys haven't yet, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.